Welcome to Elle's Nails, where it doesn't take a million bucks for your nails to look like a billion bucks. Happy 4th of July, Independence Day, wherever you are. Um, so this week's theme is unused plate, and so I haven't done anything because I want to prove that my plate has been, has not been used. Um, so what I've started with here is I'm doing a French tip. Um, and I freehanded. You can kind of tell that they're a little freehanded. It was my. I need to upgrade my white nail polish. It was a little chunky. Um, but these are both from the Gel Polish Broadway Collection. Um, the peach and then the white. And it's freehand. Um, I'm gonna stamp over it so it's not a big deal if it's a little crooked or anything. And um, I even have, you might notice, can you tell that there are, not all of my nails, but some of my nails are um, not real today. Uh, I wanted them all to be um, long and about the same length, so I added a few falsies. Um, not all my nails, but some of them are false. Um, I'll just leave it to you to guess. Um, just so that they're all the same length, so that they look good since it's a French tip look. So for my look today, I am doing my last of the Independence Day 4th of July looks. And that's from this stamp template from Bundle Monster. It's got a nice kind of a 4th of July look right there. And I'm also using um, a Bundle Monster blue and red polish. To go with that and I'm going to use a napkin so that I don't get a mess everywhere so let me start by opening this as you see my French tips they're not complete <laughs> I hope they're dry enough um, I did them over an hour ago um, but they might still be a little tacky so um, this might be a video that you never see if that's the case But I digress. Let's get this open. He's making things difficult on me, huh? Always when I'm on camera. There we go. Found it. All right. So the first thing I do after I have painted my nails and they're fairly dry is I got my stamp uh, plate. I'm using a um, a Panera Bread membership card today. Um, I had a free cookie if I signed up or something like that. And I never go to Panera. I just went there because there was a grand opening. And, uh, so I will never use this card. So we're going to use this today. Because it seems like a good idea. And then I have my, um, clear stamper. And I have a sticky tape to uh, clean it off. I'm not using acetone on that stamper. And uh, that's about it, some acetone. Always have some acetone free nail polish remover handy for if I mess up. The so first thing I gotta do is take off this blue um, protector because if you try to do your nails with the blue protector on, you're not going to get any good results. Alright, there we go. There we go. Now I like to scrape to the side. It's my preferred method. So I'm going to actually put my uh, template on its side. I'm going to take the red and blue polish. And my nails are nice and clean. And actually, I'm going to take, before I even start with all that, I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol. 
because it has been a while and there might be some debris on my nails. So I'm going to just take some rubbing alcohol and wipe down my nails real quick just to make sure that there's no uh, oils or anything on there so that it will stamp nicely. Alright, let's get started now. So the blue is the star section, and I'm going to cover the whole stamper here. And then the red is the zebra stripey part. And we might end up with some purple here, but that's okay. All part of the magic. And now we're going to scrape to the side, because that's my preferred method. And it's quite purple, so um, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pick this up just so I see what it looks like. I know I'm not going to like it, but put that on my sticky tape there. All right, I'm going to clean this off with some acetone which I should have done to begin with anyways. I'm going to clean off my um, scraper as well. Now I'm going to rotate this 180. And we are going to try this again. Hopefully we get a better result. There, that's much better. So just pick that up. Nice look to it. And now I am going to place that. Try to align that so that the white meets up. And my star is a little crooked, but there you are. There's our 4th of July look. So I'm going to um, do the rest of my nails, uh, and then I'll be back and I'll show you the final finish. All right, there are my very lovely um, 4th of July nails. The star actually didn't show up as well as I would have liked. Only shows up on my thumbs, really. So, you know what, I think this uh, nail look needs that should uh, make it pop. And that is a hollow top coat. It's my Wet n Wild hollow top coat. This one is um, actually um, more heavily dispersed hollow, but that's okay. So um, treat that like you would with a uh, regular top coat. We're going to glide over the nail and not push down. Try to avoid smearing. That just makes it shine, doesn't it? See that one smeared a little bit because we weren't careful. All right, so just need to finish this up with a clean up brush and some acetone, which I need to pour in my little shot glass here. Thank you. 
Where's my brush? And it's um, easier to do clean up before your nails are dry. Otherwise, it uh, is harder to clean off. And I, I don't know, I might have, um, with the red stain, so I probably should have put a barrier on, but I'm lazy. But that's it. Um, so that's our last of the Independence Day looks. And that is it for this time. Next week's theme is unicorn. So uh, stop on by next week and we'll see you then.